Sure, yes, sure, Mr. Wetterbottom and Mr. Peters, I'm going to hold you responsible for this. It's all your fault. That's what it is. You fellas got me into this mess, and, and what's more, you... What into what, Land of Goshen? What are you talking about? Calm yourself down and tell us what you mean, Hector. Yeah. You talk like a crazy fella. Yes. Now sit down there in that cracker box and tell us what's happened. Well, uh, uh, you told me... You told me the job you got me was being a clown in the circus. And what, when I well, found out... it I... is being a clown in the circus. The circus that Major Bond is going to put on. He wants the fella to do stunts. Said so herself, didn't he, Eb? Huh? Yes, he certainly did. Yes, he said he was going to put on the circus over to Squidgeville and wanted the fella to do stunts. Yes, yes. And you, do you know the kind of circus he's putting on? Well, he's putting on an airplane circus. Huh? And he... An airplane circus never uh, hits tell us so. That's yeah. just what I said, an airplane circus. And I'm supposed, imagine that, I'm supposed to fly up in an airplane and loop the loop and dive and fool around and go upside down and do all sorts of things. And that's what he meant by stunt. Well, well, land of Goshen. Why, why, I can hardly believe it. Why, it don't seem possible. Well, shucks, Hector, uh, you don't have to take the job if you don't want it. No, uh, one of course thing not. About it. Of course not. You can quit if you don't like it, Hector. He can't make you go up in the air. Yes, yes, well, that's all you know about it. What do you mean? Because I'll tell you why. Just listen to this. Here is a copy of the application you made me sign. Yes, I remember. It says, it says here, it says, uh, uh, this application, when signed by applicant and approved by employer, constitutes a contract binding on both parties. Hmm? What's that? Let's see that. I'll take it. There it is. Read it for yourself. That's it, all right. Take it and look at it. See for yourself. Hmm. Well, it does say that, don't it? I say it does say that. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah. gosh. Yes, but gosh, listen, Hector. Hector. Listen here a minute. The major ain't going to prove your darn application when he finds out you can't fly. He isn't going to approve of it. No. Uh, he's already approved of it. And what's more, what's more, he'll make me go up and do stunts in the air. And, and I'll break my neck. That's what I'll do. And and when I do, when I do, it will be all your fault. Oh, now, Shakes, and I quit worrying about it. Yeah, stop your dad darn squawking here. Yes, I tell you, the Major Barnes ain't going to make you go up, and there's nothing like it. Gosh, not. No, you get along, and I'll see Major Barnes and straighten the whole thing out. Yes, yes, but, uh, but uh, he won't let me off. Don't you fool yourself. Oh, of course he let you off, Hector. Uh, sir. Listen here, Major Barnes is one of the finest fellers in the world, the salt of the earth. Now you get along and just let me tend to this. Yeah, me and Zeb will have a talk with him. We'll fix it all up. Yes, up. everything's bound to be all right. Maybe he'll give you another job, one like, uh, like Harold Newbride's got, uh, working for the, uh, the Barnes uh, Fire Escapade Company. No, sir. No, sir. I don't want to work for him at all. I don't want to work for him at all. All I want to do is to get out of that contract I signed. That'd mm-hmm. suit me peachy. Well, we'll get you out of it. Now go on along. Just put the whole business out of your mind. You don't amount to hill of beans. Well, uh, uh, will, will you see him right away? When are you going to see him? Well, we'll see him sometime today. Sometime today, huh? Yes. All right, you depend on that. You'll yes. see him and fix it up. That's what he said. All right, all right. And, and you call me up... And tell me what he says, will you? Yes, yes, certainly will, Hector. Now, right. don't you worry none about it. It'll be all right. All right. Goodbye. Yes, goodbye, Hector. Well, huh. looks to me like he's in a pretty tight pinch, Zeb. Oh, shucks. Major Barnes let him off. He ain't going to send nobody up in an airplane that can't fly. No, but uh, he'll send him up in an airplane that can fly. That's the whole trouble right there. Well, just the same, the Major ain't going to make him do it. You can't tell what the Major will do. That fellow's crazy, Zeb. Oh. I've been saying it right along, and I say it now. That feller is plumb crazy. Yes, well, crazy or not, he knows how to make money. He's going to make old man Schultz and I'm rich. That's nothing. He makes me it, too. Oh, not it. Rich. He's going to make us all rich. How's that? How is it? Why, with that there stock in the new fire escapade company he's starting. My shot. Well, with old man Schultz and I'm a president and the major himself standing behind it, it's bound to be a big thing. My shot. 
That's just a dead darn fake, Zeb. No, no, and wait, you know. Wait a minute, wait a second, Zeb. <coughs> and howdy, Major. How be you? Uh, we were just talking about you. Well, now that's quite flattering. Uh, yes, um, here you're going to sell some stock in the new company you're getting up. Oh, yes, we are getting out a small issue. How's that? Issue. Uh, what? Issue. Issue. You better go home and go to bed, dear. You're catching cold. Yes, go to bed and take a dose of old Doc Simmons and syrup of cinnamon. It fixed you right up. No now, nonsense. Now, listen, nonsense. I'll wrap you up a small bottle and... In. I say nonsense. No, it's ten cents. Yes, that's the cut rate on it, Major. Regular fifteen-cent bottle. But, but look here, have I it. haven't a cold. I never catch cold, even in the coldest weather. Why, when I was up in Alaska, I thought nothing of stripping off my clothes and bathing in an icy spring. Uh, where did you say you bathe in the spring? In Alaska. Well, in this country, you ought to bathe oftener. Yes, most people around here bathe every Saturday night, Major. You see... No, 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 you don't understand. I mean I bathe in icy water. That builds up a resistance against cold. Colds, you know, are caused by germs. And cold baths kill germs. Yes, but Major, how are you going to get a germ to take a cold oh, bath? What you don't understand. You know the old saying, you can lead a germ to water, but you... No, no, yes. no, it's horse. You can... How's lick... that? Horse, horse. Yes, you, you can... can horse a germ with water, you but... Mean you mean you can uh, wash a germ with... You don't need it. I mean wash a oh, horse. Oh, I see. Wash a worm. A warm heart. Stop um, it! Stop uh, it, I say! Uh, no, Stop it! Uh, I don't think either of you have the slightest idea of what you're talking about. The expression is, you may lead a horse to water... Yes, that's what they say. You can lead a horse to water, but you cannot bathe a room. But a germ has nothing to do with it whatsoever. Well, then, uh, why don't you keep talking about a germ for... You was the one that started this germ business. I mean, the expression has nothing to do with a germ. You can't compare a germ with a horse. How's the that? I say a germ and horse can't be... Yes, you see, yeah, but it's a German horse. Oh, it, it isn't a German horse. Any more than it's a French horse or an Italian horse. Horses don't have a race. You're crazy. They had one at the county fair last year. Well, yes, Major Barnes. There's lots of horse races. Didn't you ever see oh, a horse race? Oh, for heaven's sake, please, let's drop the subject. I want to buy a box of candy. The very best you have. Oh, yes, yes, sir. Oh, well, now, let's see here a minute, Tim. Hmm. Well, sir, I reckon this candy here in the pink box is just about the best we have. All right, I'll take it. There you are. Oh, sakes alive. Another one of them funny dollar bills, eh? Well, we can't change it. Oh, no, rot. Well, here. I'll tell you what to do. Take the 20 and send Miss Schultzenheimer a $5 box of candy every day for four days. Yes, but uh, we ain't got no $5 boxes, Major Barnes. In fact, between you and Hector Smith, uh, oh, oh, say, say, Major... Something I wanted to say to you. Oh, is that so? Well, what is it? Yeah. Um, Hector tells me that that there job you got for him is flying in an airplane. Now, uh, he don't know how to fly, you see. Uh, of course, uh, you're not going to make him do it, are you? I don't see why not. Yeah, oh. but Dad Raddett, he don't know how to run an airplane. Well, no. then he'd better start learning, because he has to make a flight next week. Yes, but Major, gracious sake, next week? Why, he can't learn Ah, to, but to... that's his affair. He should have thought about that when he signed the contract. Oh, yes, but listen. Listen, that is a mistake, Major. Yeah. You can't make him go up. He'll kill himself. Now, now, why don't you let him off? Be a good fellow. I and... shall do nothing of the sort. Young Smith has been strutting about town, boasting that he gave me a beating. Well, if he likes to pose as a hero, I am going to give him a chance. Flying a stunt plane. He ought to like that. He can have the whole town saying, doesn't he look wonderful? Yes, but me... I don't um, want to discuss the matter any further. Goodbye. Oh, yeah, but uh, wait, Major. Uh, yeah. Major, Major. Oh, Eb. Eb, what are we going to do now? I don't know. But one thing, Hector ain't going to have the whole town saying, uh, don't he look wonderful? You, you mean, you mean we can get him out of it? No, I mean they'll be saying, uh, don't he look natural? <laughs>